A researcher with the Department of Education followed a cohort of students who graduated from high school in a certain year. Monitoring the progress the students made toward completing a bachelor's degree. One aspect of his research was to determine whether students who first attended community college took longer to attain a bachelor's degree than those who immediately attended and remained at a four-year institution. The data in the table attached below summarize the results of a study complete parts A through E below. Let's glance at the data. Okay, so we have an N, um, community college transfer, 270, and the N for no transfers, 1112. The sample mean time to graduate, 5.36 versus 4.28, and the sample standard deviation was 1.149 and 1.014. Let's keep that in mind. Okay, so what is the response variable in the study? What is the explanatory variable? So the response is the time to graduate, right? The explanatory is if they used community college or not. A. I had to look through all of them real quick. Check answer. Okay. So explain why this study can be analyzed using the inference of two sample means. So there are assumptions with almost all of these tests. That, in fact, all the tests that we do in here, we have assumptions they have, have to be met. So do we have independent samples? Independent samples, yes. Um, they can be random. So random, yes. More, Not more than 5% of the population. Assuming, yes. Any others normally distributed or large? Doesn't have to be normally distributed. We're using a t-test, so this song is there fairly large. Both 30 is what this textbook uses as a cutoff. 20 is often good enough, particularly if you're if you can get the actual data. So yes, it doesn't have to be normally distributed. So those should be it. Okay. Does evidence suggest that community college transfer students take longer to attain a bachelor's degree. So we're using a 0.05 level of significance, perform a hypothesis test, determine the null and alternative. So remember the null is always equal, so we can eliminate here B and D, which use the greater than and less than symbols. So here we're wanting to know, does the evidence suggest community college takes longer? So is community college longer, greater than transfer? Sorry, greater than no transfer. So A is the only one that meets that. Um, C, it would be community college takes less than. Now we need to run the, the data. So we need to pull this up, move it out of the way here, and I will pull in the TII calculator. And clear that out. Press stat, test. We have a two sample t test, number four. We don't have my raw data, so I'm going to scroll over here. We have summary statistics given. And then just populate these. Now, notice that these are sometimes in different orders. So the sample mean time is x bar. So that's going to be 5.36. Sample standard deviation, 1.149. N is 270. So don't get caught. Um, by putting, just because they have them in a different order here, they may show up different here. Hopefully no big deal. 4.28, standard deviation 1.014, and n is 11.12. And we're saying that um, u1, we already selected this, is greater than u2. We did that when we stated the null and alternative. We're always going to stay out of the pool, so click no, unless it says otherwise and calculate. Okay, so here is our test statistic. Wow, 14.16. That's huge. You know, anything bigger than three, we're going to be rejecting HO. So often in research, you're going to see the test statistic reported, or you will need to report it if you're doing your own research. So report this along with the p-value. Now, it says the p-value to three places. Let's take a look at the p-value again. What was it? So 4.079, is that our p-value? Uh-uh. What do we have here? Keep looking. Times 10 to the negative 37. That's low. 
this is point zero 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 thirty six zeros and then four oh seven nine. So to three places, this is just gonna be point zero zero zero. Ordinarily, when we're reporting this in research, we would just say the p-value is less than 0 0.001. So we should definitely reject the null hypothesis. Super low p-value. It's highly unlikely we would see a difference this great if, in fact, there were no difference. The evidence does suggest community college transfer students take longer to attain a bachelor's degree at the 0.05 level. So a natural question. It takes them longer. Well, how much longer? So let's run a confidence interval. The good news is when you have all put in put in here in, in this calculator, it should preserve all those values. So two sample t test. Nope, we just ran that. So two sample t interval. Make sure you don't pick z. It does. It kept everything, it looks like. And we're running 99%. Stay out of the pool. Calculate. So we're running to three places. So 0 0.883. And the upper bound was 1.277. You know, so it's about a year longer, right? So the results of Part C and D imply community college causes you to take extra time to earn a bachelor's degree. There's our key word there, right? Causes, sort of a buzzword. So unless we ran an experiment and like randomly selected people and forced them to a community college and then forced them not to be in a community college and then ran it, we could say it. So we cannot say there's a cause here. Only with experiments. Okay, I hope that helps. I want to show you this on StatCrunch. So let me see, I don't think I can open this in StatCrunch. I can't, so open this in StatCrunch or open stack crunch that I need to put in. I've got T stats and it's a two sample with summary. And then populate these fields the same way we did with the TI. I went ahead and put all that in. Hopefully I got that in right. We're selecting this to be greater than and press compute. There's our T stat at 14.16, which is huge. Huge. I mean, our sample difference was one with a super small standard, standard error. P-value, notice how this is reported. It just says less than 0.0001. Okay. We can run a confidence interval on that if we want to. Just scroll down here. Choose confidence interval. And I believe we just ran a 99 a second ago. Let's do it again. And we exactly we get exactly the same values we did when we ran this on the TI-84. So I hope that helps.